what's up YouTube welcome back well today I want to show you guys a little something that I find interesting that you can do at home if you're wondering what you're seeing in front of you it's just basically like a bunch of greenery but as you guys been following a lot of my uh, my bonsai series stuff that you have been asking questions well this is just another aspect of it and I wanted to show you that you can let your mind and your creativity kind of just do whatever it wants you don't have to be confined with traditional um, trees and stuff like that to have something that is beautiful and easier to care for if it is if it is easier for you. Um, Taken in case when we were working on this, if you remember this, this is the um, what was it called? Uh, wow, Kalankoe. There you go. I should put a tag in it. That way I remember. This is a Kalankoe. Now it doesn't look like much now because it's still recovering. Uh, from being a rescue plant in a little nacho bowl but if you look closely you can see inside that it's starting to get like this corking around the succulent base that's what a lot of succulents do they get corking and it looks woody uh, if you worked with this and started taking out some of the thicker foliage and opened up the trunk line so to speak you could make it look like a thick tree uh, this one was going to be used just as a display plant for the, the bonsai, but you can. I mean, you can do whatever you want, and I think it's going to flower, too. I think that's what this is up here, these little buds. So you can turn this into a little tree shape and kind of make it look like a bonsai. That's doable. And to do that, you would just go in, and you see, like, leaves like this, you would prune away. Now you could save these leaves too. I think they'll root from these leaves, so you could save them. And then you would go in, and you see there's there's some branching in here. So you would just go in and keep removing all these unnecessary leaves that are blocking the trunk line. And you know, let's see what else we got here. I think this one is too. So what we'll do is we'll I'm going to be messy about it, and I'm just going to nip it in half till I can get in there and get the rest of it. Okay. Now, what that does is it opens up your trunk line. Now, you obviously want to get rid of this one, too. Now, you can just pinch these off. They will twist off. And now you open it up, and then you get rid of the larger leaves as well. But it kind of resembles a weird fairy tale type tree. And then you would decorate the, the area around it with lava rocks, rock stones, or even some moss and if you laid moss on it it would start to look like a little scenery or a landscape which would give the impression of being a tree so moving that side I want to show you something that's different now I want you to look at this I'm gonna pull it close and if you could tell me what it is just by looking Maybe the person that guesses, I'll send them seeds of some sort. But if you don't, I mean, if you didn't guess it, that's fine. I'll still send you seeds. I'll have to give the information on how you guys are going to get them. I'm not going to make it easy. Um, this is a normal garden flower. This is something you can buy and you have your kids work on and make it look like a forest scene as you can see now this is just taking imagination to the next level obviously you don't you'd never use this as a bonsai tree right what is it you're asking well it's a marigold these are two marigolds i have let them grow tall and i have let their i've opened up their their stems and let their canopies kind of grow out and then they become looking little trees and made a little landscape around them now obviously they won't live beyond the year, but for the time being, they can look like something nice that you can place in your windowsill because they are full sun-loving plants. The only difference is you'd have to water them more often because of the size of the pot that they're in. They won't have a lot of water to have up at their intake, but the other side of that is they're drought tolerant, so they won't mind being dry for a little while. So unlike most things, they will be tolerant of being dry. And then they'll often give you displays of little flowers. So you'll have something decorative and beautiful for a year. And then next year, you grow another one from seed because they're very easy to grow from seed. And just go from there. So that's another option. Now one I'm going to show you that might be better for you, or maybe something interesting for you. If you see this, 
This is ornamental, no, this is not ornamental, this is regular kale. But I want you to look at it from a creative standpoint. Now, obviously, if you're looking at it from another standpoint, you'd say, well, it's a vegetable, Chris. What are you doing? You're playing with food. But I am. So if I were to do this, remove all these lower leaves, get out of here, come on, shoo, you know, you're left with something that kind of looks like trees. Or you can simply tell me it looks like kale. Either way, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, but now take that, right? You have the way it looks. And then we take some decorative moss and just kind of tuck it in amongst that, right? Just kind of push it down. Now, I'm using fake moss because I don't have real moss. So if you had real moss, it would look better. And let's just say you take a rock or two and add it to there. I'm just I'm just gonna set it all willy nilly somewhere. Now it takes away from the fact that it's kale, and it gives you an impression of some bizarre tree or alien tree. It could be anything, or even another you know like an African savanna tree if you pruned it up a little higher. But Obviously, if you get what I'm saying, that you don't you don't have to limit yourself to regular trees. You can use other subjects to work on uh, doing bonsai. Obviously, like the marigolds, the kale will only be around for so long, but they like a lot of sun. They will grow vigorous, and the bonus part is everything you cut off is edible, especially when it's young like this. It'll be even more tender for a salad. So these are like edible bonsai, so to speak. Marigolds, I think, are edible, too, but I just wouldn't recommend it. They're terrible. Um, something like that you could do. They're easy. So if you guys are really interested in trying it, try that. I mean, I will show you one more plant that is something that I've shown you guys before that is an edible plant. And this is my pepper bonsai. Now, it needs a pruning, but this is a chili pepper. And it flowers, and it looks great. It's got everything you'd want in a, in, a, in a bonsai tree, except it's not a bonsai tree. It's a vegetable. So don't let your mind constrict your creativity and always open your mind to try new things because that's the whole point. Because when bonsai was started, now some people are probably going to contradict me, but it was called pensai, which was Chinese uh, for that. And the Chinese were using chrysanthemums in pots, decoratively, similar to the marigold. So don't let your mind think of just the karate kid tree or a ficus. Think outside the box and try new things. And you'll be surprised of this is over a couple years old. And it's still going strong as long as I keep feeding it and keep pruning it. So don't let your mind constrict your creativity. Keep going. Keep trying. And if you guys need any help, just ask me. And I will leave a question in the comment section. If you guess it right, I will send you guys some seeds or some sort of a fancy pants gift. All right? Will you guys take it easy and have a happy Easter?